A lot of people will talk about the fear of not having enough resources to live comfortably. Another big one is the fear of abandonment, you know, as they get older and older. The fear of physical changes to the body. Um, and again, a big one for people is the fear that they're going to be unattractive in some way. Now that we're kind of armed with our acceptance, or maybe just a, a tiny bit more of acceptance of death, let's go even further. Let's steer in even more. What do people really fear about aging and death? Okay, because there's loads of fears and anxieties that accompany this topic, and we want to be aware of them, and we want to be attuned to them, both in ourselves, you know, so we can live well, um, but also so that we can be uh, mindful of the people that we care for. We fear illness, of course, you know, we fear illness and the course that it may take. So many people are experiencing that. Uh, some people will have the fear of being institutionalized once they get older. People have a fear of medical practitioners and medical care. That's a big one for people. People um, often have simple fears, the, the fear of falling, falling down and getting injured. Um, people can fear becoming more and more dependent upon others. Uh, the fear of losing mental abilities is a big one for us. Uh, the fear of losing uh, control over bodily functions is a big one. This is a big one that can often come up when sort of seniors or elderly people uh, take on things like psychotherapy. I can remember uh, one therapist I knew who was working in an assisted living kind of setting and he had a client who was an elderly man, you know, kind of uh, difficulty receiving care that didn't come naturally or easy to him and he was declining uh, into, into an illness and he was coming in for his weekly sessions and an intimacy had grown between the client and the therapist. They had looked at a lot of things in their process of life review, something we'll talk more about, but they were trusting one another and the work was going well. And the client came in one day and he said to the therapist, well, you're going to be very proud of me. Uh, I don't smell today. I haven't wet myself even once. Now, the therapist was a bit kind of taken aback and he sensed the importance of this moment though. He knew what this man was trying to say to him um, and he knew that this was going to be a very uh, important moment for easing anxieties also about the future, the future of the illness. And in that moment he said to him, Oh, well, John, gosh, you know that doesn't bother me at all. You know the smell doesn't bother me at all. And the man started crying. Now there's something uh, very subtle but very profound going on there because what's not being spoken, the thing that's happening that's actually not being spoken, is this client is saying to his therapist, I'm afraid of this. I'm afraid of the course this is taking. I'm afraid of losing control more and more. And he's also saying, I am afraid that um, I will be unappealing to the people that have to care for me. And very importantly, what the therapist is showing him and saying to him is, this doesn't bother me. I'm okay with this. You'll be okay. I'm okay. Many people will uh, talk about fearing perhaps how their family will cope once they're no longer there. That's a big one for people. They're imagining the worst or concerned. Um, there will be a lot of people that will be concerned about being mistreated or controlled or exploited in some way by caregivers as they become more and more dependent. And this is something really important for us to be considering and listening for. You know, there was one study that found that about 43% of older adults uh, have identified the fear of physical violence at the hands of caregivers. Okay, um, so it's important we're attuned to that. And given that it's estimated that, let's say in America, uh, two million older adults are subject to physical abuse or neglect, we really kind of have to have our ears open. 
lot of people will talk about the fear of not having enough resources to live comfortably. Another big one is the fear of abandonment, you know, as they get older and older. The fear of physical changes to the body. Um, and again, a big one for people is the fear that they're going to be unattractive in some way, okay? Um, diminishing sexual functioning can be really hard for people. Um, the fear of being physically somehow displeasing to the people that are going to care for them is a very big one, often unspoken. And again, just the fear of the change, changing social circumstances that, uh, I don't know, perhaps as we get older and we can do less, we mean less. So these are just some of the things that we can be mindful of in ourselves and mindful of uh, with the people that we're close to as we age.